Hello, I'd like to talk about InView's new integration with uh, hybrid software packs. So at the Drupa show, we were showing some of this, but now we're just going to kind of go through and show you how quick and easy this really is. So with uh, InView's connection, you now get over 2,500 resizable designs, and that's always growing. And not only that, you can edit those designs and you have an unlimited number. So you can create inserts, et cetera, or whatever. So let's do two things. Let's bring in a corrugated item and then let's bring in a uh, folding carton. So first I'm gonna go down to this Fefco library 400 series. And if you've seen any of my demos, I, I grab a lot of these boxes all the time. So let's open this up in InView. You can see a 3D view of that box. And let's just resize it like I normally do for my wine bottle demo. Um, I'm in inches right now, but naturally you can work in uh, metric. And uh, we'll just refresh that and you can see, okay, there's our, there's our box. Let's do a quick layout. So it's going to bring over the one up and the layout. So we're going to just go ahead and come in here and say, all right, we'll do a four by four sheet. We'll grab that layout and now let's save it. So we'll say file, save as, we'll give it a name. So in our case, we're going to call this, uh, we'll leave all that off and let's just say one up one up and layout. All right, hit save. So you'll notice once I save it, this uh, PAX logo lines up and I can go ahead and hit this and we can say, um, let's pick a customer. And uh, now it's gonna use this name. So we're gonna submit as a new project and just say, okay. All right, so that's submitted to the database. So if we come over to packs, let's uh, grab the packs icon here and let's go look in the database. All right, so I'm gonna go to prepress, nest, nested step and repeat. And in here, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pick import CAD. So once I do that, you see that we got in view there um, selected as an option. There's lots of different options. And in our case, we're gonna go down here to the bottom. And if you'll see, here's our 421, there's our box. We have a one-up option or a layout. So let's import the layout. And now if we stretch that out, you'll see, and we can, let's fit this to the, and there's your layout ready to go. So now you can start to put your graphics on it. Same idea, I did this earlier. Let's drop back into InView and um, let's drop back into our library. So let's grab something from Folding Carton. Let's get a really common box here. We'll open this into in view. Same idea. Let's resize it real quick. We'll just make this three by two by four. Refresh it. Now, if we come in here and we create a layout, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll just throw this on a four by four sheet. So we'll grab that, pick this one, say OK. So now we have a layout. We have this file save as to an InView file. And I'm just gonna overwrite this one. See, this is one up plus layout and hit save. Yes, so now I hit the same thing. We go to packs, we can upload it. Now I already uploaded this one a minute ago. So let's go over to packs and we'll grab the one we uploaded. So let's import from CAD again. Notice I've got this InView option. We'll hit import. And then what we're gonna do is we'll browse down to the bottom here and there's my one plus layout, so let's import it. And that's, oh, I just brought the one up in. Let's do it again. So we'll go import, but we can obviously just use the one up if we wanted. We're gonna go and grab the um, this. We're gonna pick a layout this time because we had both the option of the one up or layout, hit import. And now you can see there's your layout ready to go. So. Pretty easy connection um, with InView. You have a pretty much unlimited number of die lines, boxes, displays, and everything else. So it's a cool connection. Look forward to working with everyone. Thank you.